Mark, you just wrote a book, From Cowboy to Mogul to Monster. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about the title. What, what does that mean? Well, you know what a cowboy is. <laughs> a cowboy was me for 20 years. Um, I used to be what I thought was a serious New York stage actor, and one day I went to Italy, and they decided that I should do westerns. And I said, you know, I'm western... A cowboy star is like Clint Eastwood. He's tall and blonde. They said, it doesn't matter. You're American. <laughs> <laughs> so I became a spaghetti western star in Italy. Uh, when my career began to go down, when westerns went out of style, and I met my wife and decided that I had to keep her in the style to which I knew she would like to become accustomed and I wasn't making enough pictures, I thought I should do something serious and so I went into, what else, film distribution and production. And mogul. That was the mogul part <laughs> and the monster I threw in there because everyone would wonder, wonder what the heck did it mean and since I produced a picture called Monster that won an Academy Award for the actress Charlize Theron. It was kind of my the, my beginnings through to the making and the end of Monster. Yeah. And how's the reception been so far? You know, those who haven't told me anything about it, I don't know. But what I love, because I'll never ask somebody what they thought about the book, what I love is so many people have come up to me and said, Mark, I couldn't put it down. I never expected, I thought this would be something just informative. I, they said, your life was, was so interesting and funny. And I <laughs> laughed and I laughed. And that's what I loved about it because so many people, because of my gravitas, or like they call it, because I've been in the business so long, um, didn't know that I have a sense of humor. <laughs> and so I think that's, that's one of the the greatest accomplishments of mine was not just the five years it took to write it and to tell the whole story of the beginning of the independent film industry, but was the fact that some people say, hey, Mark Bain was also funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that know. made it all worthwhile. Give us a snippet. Is there, was there a story in the book that people are particularly loving? About 1,310 stories they've loved. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I think what they loved is, is the fact that, that I opened up totally. I decided if I'm going to tell my story, I'm going to tell it um, as honestly as I can. And they appreciated what it was like to have where the drive came from, yeah. um, how it finally paid off how somebody could go from one career to another and be as successful, in this case, even more. As a matter of fact, the opening of my book, it says, if you don't succeed in the field you dream of, you may one day succeed in the field you've never dreamt of. And that's, yeah. that's kind of what happened is, um, after having stopped a career as an actor for 20 years and started anew at the bottom practically, that I was able to succeed possibly even more and in a way that I w never would have dreamed of beforehand. And so I think that's, <clears throat> I think it's kind of what most people got out of it. Yeah. That it's, it's never over. Yeah. Something always can happen that can take you in a different direction that can make you even more successful than anything you've done before. So it's actually an inspirational book. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think so. Yeah, fantastic. Well, Mark, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. um, have a wonderful rest of your can. And um, we were here with Mark Damon from Foresight Unlimited. I'm Sharon Swart on the Future Films Boat for Hub Culture in Cannes.